Creative is back at it here to give everyone another UFC predictions video. In this particular video, I'm going to be giving my prediction for the next four UFC Fight Night main events that are going to happen April 10th through May 22nd. Just the main event of these particular Fight Night cards. Keep in mind, card or main event subject to change. Let's start it off with the main event on April 10th. We have Kevin Holland stepping in for an injured Darren Till versus... Marvin Vittori. Holland just lost to Derek Brunson. Brunson did a lot of laying on top of him through the fight. I think Holland landed a more impactful blows, but if Holland's going to continue to be taken down and not really advance to get up, he's going to have a hard time. Uh, with that said, Vittori is on a roll. He's looked pretty good. And uh, we should. this fight is, I think, a little bit more even than people think it will be. But I do give the edge to Marvin Vittori, as I think he will beat Kevin Holland. But if Holland wins, great, excellent. He had enough time to work on some issues that he had. Uh, but I don't think he has enough time to fix those issues because he just accepted the fight. Maybe two weeks approximately that he had to work on some of the troubles that he had against Derek Brunson. Uh, but we shall see what happens. So I'm going with Marvin Vittori on that particular fight. On the fight night card, April 17th, 2021, we have Robert Whitaker versus... Calvin Gastelum stepping in for an injured Paula Costa. I really think Robert Whitaker is going to win this fight. I think Robert Whitaker is probably the number one guy in the division other than Israel Adesanya. And I think he beats Calvin Gastelum pretty handily. Of course, Gastelum did have an amazing fight against Israel Adesanya. They're different fighters, though. And we shall see what has, happens. Gastelum finally won a fight. He lost a few in a row. So that's, that votes well from Calvin Gastelum. But I think Robert Whitaker is going to take this and win by knockout. Next up on the May 1st fight night card, we have Dominic Reyes versus Yuri Prohaska. Prohaska is a guy that not a lot of people know. He looks pretty fucking legit. Where Dominic Reyes has lost a couple fights now. Granted, he... May have beat John Jones, but hey, the judges gave it to John Jones, so you have to not count that as a should have been a win. Uh, Prohaska, I think, is really good, and I'm going to go with an upset. I don't even know what the betting line is, if they probably don't even have one yet, but I'm going to go with uh, Yuri Prohaska on this one just because he looks really good, and Dominic Reyes may have just been overmatched lately, and he might need to take it more of an extended time period off. Uh, to kind of regroup. So I'm going to go with Prohaska on this one. Of course, I could be wrong, and I, I hope Dominic Reyes does do good, but I don't see it happening. The next fight night main event on May 8th, which is an intriguing main event, will be Corey Sanhagen facing the returning form of Bantamweight champion of the world, TJ Dillashaw. I think Corey Sanhagen's going to win this fight. TJ Dillashaw won't be on any kind of performance-enhancing drug, or if he is... Um, he's going to get tested a lot, a part of the USADA, and we shall see what happens. Of course, Dillashaw last fought a little over two years ago. I think it was January of 2017. No, 2018, 2019. No, 2019, I think. And uh, he'll probably have some octagon rust. Maybe. I don't know. Oct Dominic Cruz says octagon rust isn't really a thing. But, I mean, when you take a couple of years off and you're in your prime and you lose two years, it, it certainly takes its toll. So I'm going with Corey Han Sanhagen. I think he's going to win this fight and beat T.J. Dillashaw. But Dillashaw could win. Who knows? He looked really good against Renan Barrow and other people back in the day. So we shall see. And then the next main event, Fight Night card, on May twenty second, 2021, we have Rob Font versus Cody Garbrandt. Uh, Garbrandt had an amazing knockout in his last fight, and then he's had some health issues. He had COVID really bad that affected him a lot. With that said... I think Cody Garbrandt wins this fight, knocks him out, and possibly might be in line for some sort of title shot, whether it be flyweight or bantamweight, depending on what route he wants to go with that, because he was initially going to get a flyweight title shot, if my memory serves me correctly, against uh, uh, Davidson Ferreira, but we'll see what happens. So, again, to recap, my predictions, Marvin Vittori, Robert Whitaker, Yuri Prohaska, and uh, Corey Sanhagen, and of course... Cody Garbrandt. So leave your opinions. Tell me who you think is going to win. If you're a fan of the UFC, you like these fight night cards, you like the UFC in general, go ahead and smash that like button. If anybody you know would be interested in this, make sure you share the video with them. Leave me a lot of comments. Just 
Tell me what you think. And of course, last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button, subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your damn support, and be a part of something special. And JDev will return.